Today, I got to check out the LG G8X, which is basically the upgraded phone for this year, which we all expect it to be with the Snapdragon 855. Before I go any further, I wanna mention that all the stuff you're about to see is basically not final yet, so things can change when this phone comes out. All right, so I'm just gonna go straight to the point, and the main focus for the LG G8X is basically the dual screen, like we've seen on an LG V50. But this time around, it's just more polished. Using dual screen is super handy, especially for multitasking, and that's something we do every day. I got to use this for over an hour, and I got used to the second screen so quickly that going back to one screen doing multitasking is so hard. For everyday use, I can go on my maps while messaging somebody, and if I take a screenshot of that, it can go directly to that person. For business, I can have my email open while having a calendar on the side, and for downtime, I can actually game while watching YouTube. So those are just some examples. You can actually do a lot more with the camera and just browsing the web. I wouldn't say this is a niche accessory. It's just something that enhances the phone experience with many possibilities. This is the case and it's pretty bulky. It's basically two phones on top of each other and luckily you can actually take it out very easily. So if you just happen to be going out with your friends, you can slide it out, leave the attachment at home, and then when you come back, you can just use it. We did a gaming video with the V50 using the dual screen. Basically, you could do the same thing with the G8X but there's one addition. This time around, you can actually create your own gaming pad. So if you don't like their already custom ones, you can just make your own and basically you can use it with any game. It will take some time to set up, but to be honest, if you're really hardcore into that specific game, you're gonna want to do this. This is an experience that can enhance your gaming performance just because you're making something that you're comfortable to and not something that you're just given. And if you're not adventurous to create your own gaming pad, LG are in talks with other gaming companies to create their own official one for their dual screen. The dual screen on the V50 does use Pogo pins, which I think is more seamless, but for the G8X, they switch it to USB connection. And their main reason why is basically less power consumption and slightly less lag. So using this for a while, here are just some more facts about this phone and the dual screen. The dual screen attachment is the same size as the LG G8X, which is 6.5 inches with the OLED screen. It has the same resolution and the same color profile. On the front of the dual case, there is a screen on the front for you guys to tell quick information. Using the second screen will obviously take power, so expect it to take about 20 to 30% off your main battery. And if you find yourself using those specific apps all the time, you can actually set that up as a custom profile. So one type of way, you can just open up your Twitter and Facebook at the same time. For landscape typing, you can actually split the keys so it's easier for you to type. For the ones who listen to music on YouTube, we all know that once you close the app, the music will stop. So basically you can have YouTube open on one side and you can do something else on the other. They do have a new video mode called ASMR. So basically it just heightens your microphone sensitivity and you can just create those type of videos. They have balanced stereo speakers and an optical front screen fingerprint display. When you're watching a video that's pretty dark or just playing games in a dark area, they do have gamma adjustments. So basically you can see better in the dark. And finally, they do have a new UX9 design, which is basically a cleaner look with better one hand usage. So we don't know the price or if this dual screen will come with the phone or not. And again, all the stuff that I mentioned are not final, so things may change by the time this phone release. So overall, the main focus here is multitasking. If you do this on a daily basis, then this phone will basically be your game changer. It takes little to no knowledge to learn how to use the second screen, and you can get a lot more things done faster, whether it's for work or social media. So that is all I got with the limited time I had with the LG G8X. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.